things happen the way they're supposed to happen, it seems. Um, I went walking today. I came home, and actually, while I was, what? It's Julia. Anybody complains it's Julia. Julia is the big talker, and she likes to complain. Anyway, so I was on my way. Oh, see, I went to the track, and I came out of the track, and I checked my email. I don't check inside because they have no Wi-Fi in there. Big metal ceiling and it just does not work. I checked it outside in the car and I had an email. I hadn't had one all day. An email from the construction guy. And he said that um, the bin would be delivered uh, today or tomorrow. I thought, okay, that's kind of cool. And I uh, emailed my son. I forwarded the email to my son so that he would, you know, he's home so he would know that there might be a bin coming today or tomorrow. And then, heavens to Betsy, I, uh, at the next light, I checked my email. No, I didn't check my email. I checked my, um, my camera outside and there was the bin being delivered <laughs> so um, I thought wow I hope the email got to my son in time not that he wouldn't have his but yeah he said it got to him in time and uh, he just got it and then he uh, heard somebody something backing up and he's like I wonder if that's the bin <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, or did he, I know what he exactly, because he had to get his car out. Yes, so anyway, I got to him in time, not that he wouldn't have noticed. Anyway, so the bin has been delivered. That's one thing. Then I got home, we shifted the cars around, my car has to be first to leave in the morning, because I, at least tomorrow morning, I'll be leaving first before anyone else. And uh, so I got everything in. I went and came in. We had supper and they went upstairs. And I was working uh, at my computer because there were some things that I needed to look up. And uh, I wanted to print something off at work that I had not been able to print off properly. Uh, and I heard a pickup truck pull up and really why should I look out because there today there are so many pickup car pickup trucks and SUVs parked on our road it's crazy but I looked out and this person was parking the truck and walking over here I thought must be my construction guy didn't really recognize him he wasn't one of the two people that I, or people that I've dealt with, but someone who uh, has probably, that was probably the person who sided the, uh, the carport. Yeah. This is the siding guy. And he was coming to check out some things that were puzzling him. Boy, was I ever happy he did that, because if he hadn't, things might have been really messed up. Anyway, he did. He checked on this and that. Wow. He checked on my color choices. He checked on, uh, well, I asked him after that, I asked him all sorts of questions and we found out that we had all sorts of things, that he had all sorts of things wrong. Not his fault, not my fault. It's the communication that wasn't happening between my guys and him. But anyway, that's why he came by. So first he came in and we were talking and we cleared things up about the color. There's not going to be a lot of contrast or a lot of different colors. There's just going to be two, the siding and the trim. 
and the trim is not going to be what I was saying because that would be too many colors. It would look weird, which is why he came by. Uh, we're going to go with the white. So siding color and white trim. Yes, and then we find out that he didn't know that it was Borden Batten, that he didn't know this, that, the other thing. Anyway, we got that all cleared up. So that's good. Uh, yeah, another thing is he actually personally knew the man who died in the fire. Yeah. So I said, yeah, what happened there? So I, I, I had been thinking lately because a few weeks ago they had made a comment in the newspaper that they still hadn't found out the cause of the fire, the cause of his death. But this guy knew. And what happened there is that he was a full-blown mechanic. Should have known better, his words. But he was working in his garage, door closed, wood fireplace going, and fumes. Yes. And so that exploded. And, uh, yeah. So he died of... really sad. He says, you know, his wife had just got cancer and two kids relatively young. And, yeah. Hey guys. Yeah. And the and the Ellie. So I was just going to go get uh, a snack when I realized that I had, this was interrupted by a guy coming here. Yeah, because this was still out, so. I don't know why I went back to the front because I saw him coming um, in his pickup truck. Why was that I back front when I'd have started this? I don't know why. Anyway, for some reason I'd gone back there and uh, realized he was on his way here. Anyway, so that's really good really good that he, these guys have nice guys that work for them. And he says, yeah, fill up the stuff in the dumpster whenever you like. Fill it up if you like. <laughs> Go ahead. I don't think he'd appreciate that. So he's the siding guy and it's his dumpster. Or it's, he had the dumpster delivered. Yes. Work today, um, I got more boxes. I feel guilty because I, well the custodian brought me more boxes. He asked me if I wanted more boxes. I said sure, I wanted more boxes, but then he told me where he was getting them which was from one of my co-workers. I said, well, she wants those boxes for her stuff. He said, oh, we've got lots of boxes. I, you know, oh, I'm gonna have to admit to her that I am the one raiding her boxes. Well, the custodian, but for me, I don't think she'll be happy. But anyway, I'll tell her. Because that's not nice. Oh, is there food back there? Good, you're finding it. Yeah, I didn't realize there was food back there. You clean that up. I know, it's because of Tanner. Yeah, see, boots around the kibble pieces. And they end up all over the place. Yes, yeah, so, uh, I will, I will, uh, stop this because I want my snack and I have to get my orange out. I still feel thirsty, but it's too late for that. I really should change the time on that clock. It says seven, and I believe it's, well, it says ten, five to seven, and I believe it's five to eight. Really, five to eight? I thought it was a lot earlier than that. Am I looking at this wrong? No, it really says five to eight. What does the other clock here say? It's 20 to 8. 
can't believe these clocks. They're all wrong. I think that one needs a new battery. And this one's probably closer to right. Yeah, that one's closer to right. It's not, not that tall. Really? Really, I have no idea why. Anyway. Yes, so that's, that's what's happening. Work, yes, work. Uh, was there anything happening at work? Yeah, the boxes. Um, before that, the day went okay. At the end, one of my students said, good, really good. I guess you enjoyed the lesson. Yeah, I'm still feeling guilty about reading the boxes. Yeah, it's okay. Talk to you later.